SMG mounted and loaded! With the recent release of the Sky Rain update, Tachanka has been buffed. Well, sort of. Indirectly. And no, I'm not talking about the recently added Tachanka headgear. This one, that literally paints a target on his head. As far as I'm concerned, it's Ubisoft just taking the piss at this point. Everyone agrees that his turret is, at best, marginally useful in niche circumstances. Unfortunately, that hasn't changed at all. His only saving grace was his SMG being very stable and dealing moderate damage. It's an average gun. Generally okay in most situations. Then there is his infamous other option, the Saiga 12 semi-automatic shotgun. Huge magazines of 10 shots and one in the chamber, short reload times, should make for massive potential. Especially with semi-automatic shotguns being largely dominant in Siege, you would think that this option would be awesome and probably one of the best guns in the game. Unfortunately, due to its incredibly short range and its inaccuracy, it is de facto the worst gun in the game. Only surpassed by putting a suppressor attachment on it. At that point you might as well be trying to knife your opponents because your range is going to be absolutely abysmal. Due to these drawbacks you would generally have to fire two shots for every one shot you would fire with any other semi-automatic shotgun in the game. Now with this recent update the Saiga 12 has been stealth buffed as the change did not appear on the official patch notes. They significantly increased its rate of fire, easily doubling it, although I don't have exact numbers on that one which effectively makes it the highest burst damage gun in the game. Within a matter of 2 seconds you can unload more damage than any other gun in the game. Provided you are in poking range of the enemy, the enemy does not instantly shoot the huge target painted on your helmet and you have a bit of luck and the ability to repeatedly press the fire button incredibly fast. Seriously now, with this change the Saiga 12 could potentially be the strongest corner holding weapon in the entire game and it will be interesting to see how it works out.